The Shire Horse traces back to the English Great Horse, and the Great Horse in turn traces back to the Flemish Horses, who are also the forebears of the Frisians. The Flemish Horse was brought to England during the 12th century. They were noted for their size, as well as for colors and markings, similar to what we think is typical for the Shires today. The English Great Horses had been used both on the continent and on the British Isles as war horses, but as England became a world power whose wars, when they occurred, took place far from the island, the Shire was used more in farming and commercial trade. During the 1800s, vast quantities of goods were shipped both to and from the English ports, and the Shire contributed dramatically to the movement of these goods at and around the docks. At the same time, farming developed a need for strong, docile horses that could work the fields of either the flat, marshy fen counties or drier Yorkshire and Lancashire. The stockmen of Britain selected for a horse to fill these needs, as well as those of the streets of Liverpool and London. Let me introduce the horses in hand. In the center of the ring is Claudia Jorgensen, with her one-year-old gray gelding, Trail Light I Am Sid Sational, more affectionately known as Little Sid. His future will include training for riding and driving. Along with Sid is Rice Creek's Ed Adele, more affectionately known as Dixie or Dixie Pearl. Dixie is a five-year-old gray mare. She's being worked with in hand. She also is trained to ride and drive. Claudia is the owner of Wolf Creek Farm in Grandeeville, West Virginia. Also in the center ring are a pair of youngsters being led by Dan Hovell and his daughter Megan. One is a gray two-year-old filly named Rice Creek Charlotte, and the other is Rice Creek Ezekiel, a gray six-month-old colt. Dan Hubble is the owner of Rice Creek Shires in Traverse City, Michigan. Dan, his wife Barb, and four children have been involved with the Shire breed for the past 10 years. Their farm began in 1978, and along with the Shires, raised pasture graze livestock. They enjoy their horses by using them in parades, petting zoos, and occasionally Exhibiting at local shows, Dan Hubble is the president of the American and Shire Horse Association. The last horse being displayed in hand today is a four-year-old bay stallion, Mufasa, affectionately known as X. He's being led today by owner Andrea Epley. He's being shown in a traditional stallion belt or roller. A flashy and intelligent horse, he commands attention both on the showgrounds and at Liberty. Mufasa has gained a number of impressive awards, being shown in hand the past few years, and will continue or begin competing under saddle this spring. He's owned by Dr. and Mrs. Barry Epley of Silver Drock Farm in Westfield, Indiana. Historically, the Shire has been massive. Early in this century, they were routinely called the largest of the draft breeds, although there is probably more variation within the breeds today than from one breed to another. The modern Shire is hitchier than its turn of the century predecessors, as breeders have responded to market demands. The most common colors are blacks, bays, and browns, with a blaze and white legs as preferred markings. There are also some grays and even fewer browns and chestnuts. The American Shire Horse Association was formed in 1885, using essentially the same criteria as had been used in England for the Shire Horse Society's stud book. There were regular entries in the book until 1955, when activity ceased for six years. The breed was down to less than 50 horses, and only a few dedicated breeders in the Northwest held on. In England, after World War II, the Shire breed suffered a similar decline. Even as late as 1965, new registrations with the English Shire Horse Society numbered only 35 stallions and 58 mares. Now let me introduce our horses under saddle. We have a couple of different riders for us today. The first one in the ring is Sudden Creek Oprah being ridden by Charlotte Kurtz. Oprah is a 10-year-old black mare. She has been shown in hand, under saddle, English and Western, and is also broke to drive. Oprah is an amazing trail horse that would take you anywhere. She has a sweet disposition for almost anyone to handle. Oprah has recently started classical dressage lessons. She and her rider have a long way to go, but Oprah seems to be learning faster than Charlotte. 
Oprah is owned by Phil and Charlotte Kurtz of Grazing Acres Farm in Alliance, Ohio. Also here for us today is Jean Young, riding her 16-year-old Shire Stallion, Lincoln's Matches, known at home as Max. Max has shown mostly in dressage and is currently showing second level. He is nominated and certified with the American Warm Blood Society. Max has several championships, merit awards at Shire and draft classes, as well as sport horse and dressage classes. He even received champion at a Trikaner sport horse inspection, judged by a Trikaner judge and breeder from Germany. Max is an all-around horse that likes to do just about anything you ask him. He has a great disposition and is very gentle. Max resides at Ravenswood, Ravenwood Farm, just outside Buffalo, New York. In 1967, a yearling colt was imported to Idaho, providing a critical infusion of new blood. Since then, several hundred more horses have been imported so that the Shire today includes a higher percentage of recently imported breeding animals than the other draft breed. Today, the American Shire Horse Association estimates that there are about 2,150 registered shires in North America, and about 175 new horses are registered and 150 transferred each year. The use of shires for crossing on light horse breeds to produce sport horses is gaining in popularity, and the association now has a registry for first generation shire sport horses. Shire sport horses are athletic horses that inherit the gentle temperament, free shoulder movement, and powerful hindquarters of the Shire, which makes them ideal for sports such as jumping, dressage, and fox chasing, but are also capable of Western disciplines as well. The American Shire Horse Association supports and registers these Shire crosses to recognize the Shire parent. Shire Bear is coming in. They're already in. The team is driven and owned by Todd Reel. The Black Bear's name is Trail Light KC, and the Gray Bear is Trail Light Dazzling Jazz. They come pulling a new Pioneer training car. Todd and his fiance, Emily Cullison, are the owners of Trail Light Farms in Seville, Ohio, where they raise and train Shires and Persians. Todd and Emily currently stand two Shire Stanley stallions to the public. Trail Light Farms is involved in many events with their horses, including parades, shows, trail rides, plow days, and their grand event each year, Equine Affair. The American Shire Horse Association invites you to visit their stall and the horse and farm exhibits located in the Gilligan Building to see these horses close up and talk to our representatives. They're on the green wall. Stop by to visit. Talk Shires. <laughs> 